Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a Lightroom tip for all photographers, all Lightroom users that will probably speed you up. And this tip is actually a tip on how to say goodbye, how to get rid of photos basically that you no longer need. Now I'm going to give you a real world example. This is my portrait model catalog in Lightroom. And I've been shooting portraits professionally, or, or, or I should say seriously, since 2006. That's my earliest photo, October 2006. So a little bit older, a little bit over three years. And in that time, I've amassed a collection of 31,519 photos. And like any program, Lightroom being no different, the more you put in it, potentially the slower the app can run. And I'm at a point now where, you know, it's 2010 and it's time to say goodbye to some of these photos. And let me tell you a little bit about the criteria that I'm about to use. Now, when I, when I did my shoot with each one of the uh, models, customers, portrait, friend, family, whatever it was, basically I put up a web gallery. They were able to make their selections of the ones they wanted. I made my selections of the ones I wanted. I retouched them if needed in Photoshop, delivered them their, their, final res, their final images. I printed my final images if I needed to or kept them. Now the question is what to do with the ones that are left. These are the ones that I didn't want. These are the ones that the model or the customer didn't want. And the question now I'm asking myself three years later is why am I holding on to these? Nobody wanted them, and guess what? In three years' time, not a single person has come back and said, hey, can I, I know you gave me the best ones that I picked, but can I have those ones that were just okay? It just doesn't happen. So now it's time to say goodbye to those photos that in three years' time, no one has ever come back to me and said, I want. Now, there's a caveat to this, obviously. This doesn't apply to you if you're, contractually obligated to hold on to the photos for a certain limited time, a certain period of time, then hold on to them. This is for the people that really just need to get rid of their photos. Now, let me show you uh, how I'm going to do this. Now, you'll notice that uh, some of the photos have a star rating. Some may have a uh, color label. Some may have a pick. It just depends on what method I was using over the years to identify the photos that we wanted to keep. So I've come up with a formula and we're going to use a smart collection to build this so that it will constantly and interactively update any time I want to go look at photos that can probably be deleted. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the collections area and we're just going to hit the plus sign. And of course, you can create a manual collection which allows you to drag your photos into it, but I'm going to create a smart collection. And in that smart collection, I'm going to call the, this collection to be deleted. In other words, these are the photos that are most likely uh, ready to go. They can go off my drive, get out of Lightroom, speed up Lightroom, so forth and so on. Now keep in mind, the original count was 31,000 photos. So what makes up this rule? What are the ones that can be uh, deleted? Well, first of all, if there was no rating meaning I never rated the photo, I never said it was a three, a four, a five, or whatever, then that's a good candidate for one that can go. So I'm going to say the rating is equal to nothing. It was never rated, but that's not enough. So now we're going to go over and we're going to hit the plus sign, which the plus sign will add another criteria. So when I add the plus sign, I'm going to say that the color label, the label color, is equal to none. There was never a label, and usually I identify the photos of the customer's choice by a color, like green. So green would be their choice, blue would be my choice, and you know maybe I use other labels for other reasons. But whatever it was, if it didn't have a label, chances are that was a photo we didn't need. All right, that's not enough though. Let's continue. We'll hit the add sim add symbol again, and I also want to say that the pick flag. Because a lot of times I'll use a pick flag to, you know, that's flagged if it's good, or of course if it's rejected, it's already been deleted. But I'm going to say it's been, it's never been flagged. It's unflagged. 
So it's, it doesn't have a rating. It doesn't have a cover label, color label, and it's unflagged. There's still one more piece of criteria I want. When I retouch a photo, I, of course, edit it in Photoshop CS4. And then when I hit save, I have it automatically returned to Lightroom as a .psd file. So if it's, been ever, if it's ever been edited, which means that that was someone's choice at some point, whether it was mine or the customer or the model, then I don't want that one to be flagged either. So let's go ahead and add that. And we're going to say the file type is not, that's the key, is not a PSD, a Photoshop document. So, with all four of these, and of course we want to say match all, not any, meaning all four of these have to be um, present, or in many cases not present, in the photo, for the photo to be considered a candidate to be deleted. So I'm going to say, that, you know, ratings nothing, label colors none, pick flag is unflagged, and it's not a Photoshop document. So it could be a JPEG, it could be a RAW file, it could be a DNG, but if it's a Photoshop document, then that means I edit it, and I don't want to get rid of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. Now, that took me to this new collection of 27,000 photos. That's 27,000 out of the 31,000 that could be deleted. So here's what I want to do now. I want to say that... You know, of course, I could scroll through all 27,000, and that's the beauty of a smart collection, is that it's going to constantly update from this point on. So I could say, well, maybe I don't want to get rid of the ones I shot last month yet, or last year, or whatever your criteria is. And you can even put date criteria in the uh, smart collection. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to keep a live collection of all the photos that could potentially be deleted, because it's still up to me to actually delete them. Now, I'm not going to go through and scroll through all 27,000 photos, but I'm just going to grab, like, the first uh, selection here. I just held down my shift key and clicked on the first 12 photos. Now, I cannot delete them from a smart collection. That's the key. I can only delete them from the actual library or folder. So I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm just going to go back to all photos. And watch what happens when I go to all photos they remain selected. So here's one that has five stars. It's not selected. Here's one that's got a green label. It's not selected. This one's probably got a star rating too. It's not selected. So it only selected the ones in that smart collection that I told it to. Now with those selected, and I could go through and select all 27,000, but I don't want to make you wait and watch that. Or at any point, I can say start with the first one, go down to all the ones except for the last year or last month, last week, whatever. Select all those, return back to all photos. Now when I hit the delete key on my keyboard, it gives me the choice of getting rid of those 12 photos. And I can say, oh, just remove them from Lightroom. And I don't recommend this because all you're saying is get them out of Lightroom. Yes, that's a good thing. It speeds up Lightroom. But now they're orphaned. Now they're just on your drive and you have nothing pointing to them. And chances are you'll never see them again. I mean, they're there. You can always import them back in. But you're, what's the point of just removing them from Lightroom and keeping them on the drive so that they're out of sight, out of mind, still taking up space? No, I'm going to actually go ahead and hit the delete button and delete these files immediately. So now those files are gone. Those are the ones out of the first batch that I told it to get rid of, off the drive, free up the space, so forth and so on. Now you're saying, well, why is this one still here? Well, I only select the first 12, so that was probably further down on the list. So the point is, the smart collection, which is always there now, will always have the number of photos that can be deleted. And I can always go to that, and whenever that number's like, let's say it's over a 1,000, oh, well, it's time to clean up. I can determine whenever I want to look at those photos and say, yep, it's time for these to go. So that's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. I hope it helps, and I hope you go clean house like I'm about to do on those 27,000 photos and say goodbye. Thanks for watching.